everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I'm Pei Ting. I'm going to share with you my research project today. Protecting the brain with mangiferin, a potential defense against Huntington disease-like symptom in rats. When we talk about neurodegenerative disease, we often think of Alzheimer's and Parkinson. But have you ever heard of Huntington disease? Don't worry. If it's news to you, let me briefly introduce it. Huntington disease HD. It is an autoimmune factor inherited genetic neurodegenerative disease. It is characterized by the gradual breakdown and loss of nerve cells in the brain, caused by a mistake in the DNA coding, known as Huntington gene mutation. HD is rare. Wait, but does HD exist in Malaysia? Yes. The first case of a man aged 40 diagnosed with 2 years of cognitive dysfunction and 10 years of movement problem was documented in 1994. A nationwide registry of HD was established in 1995. HD has a profound impact. It affects their behavior, movement, and cognitive function. People with HD often experience aggressions, depressions, sleep abnormality, anxiety, and even thoughts of suicide. They suffer from movement problems, such as Korea. Korea here is not the K-pop Korea move dance, but a movement disorder with uncontrollable and tracking muscle movement, making it difficult to walk, talk, and even solo. Over time, HD causes a cognitive decline, such as lack of focus, memory and language loss, leading to difficulty with daily tasks, and eventually death. Sadly, there is currently no cure for HD. Only certain medications, such as antipsychotic drugs, can help to relieve their symptoms. Today, only tetrabenazine are approved by FDA to treat Korea, so this is where our research comes in. Among a variety of natural products, we are exploring the potential benefit of mangiferin, a natural polyphenol and mainly found in mangifera indica, commonly known as mango, manga, mango. Mangiferin has a long history of traditional use in medicine and has recently shown a promise in supporting brain function. Wow, so does this mean I should indulge in more mangoes? Yes, indeed. Mangiferin can be found in different parts of plants, but the highest content of mangiferin was found in mango leaf. So the best part is, mango leaves are abundantly available in Malaysia, contributing to the facility of using mangiferin for my research. With this, it has driven my interest to explore the miracle of mangiferin on HD. Our aim is to evaluate the neuroprotective effect of mangiferin against cognitive dysfunction and motor imbalance in HD in vivo model. In our study, we isolated mangiferin from mango leaf using succulent extractions. It was then given orally to the rats with HD-like symptoms. We have four groups of research VIP, normal disease control, and two mangiferin treatment groups with a 14 days treatment period. We assess their cognitive and motor function using various tests. The open field tests help us to measure their locomotive activity, spontaneous movement of rats, and anxiety-like behavior. When they experience anxiety, they prefer to stay around at the border rather than the central arena. To evaluate the motor skill and balance, we use Rogaro test. We use novel object recognition test to assess their recognition memory. You might wonder what is recognition memory is. Here, it is their ability to distinguish between familiar and new object. When their recognition memory is impaired, they prefer to spend more time with familiar object, showing a loss of their natural experience interest in the new things. Interestingly, mangiferin treatment successfully improved the rat's locomotor activity and reduced their anxiety, with cover greater distance and spend more time in the central arena. Mangiferin had also a positive impact on recognition memory. Rats in mangiferin treatment groups spend more time to explore the new object. Mangiferin also effectively reduced the motor imbalance in rats with HD-like symptoms. These rats require longer time to lose their balance. So, this finding can confirm that mangiferin offers neural protections against Huntington disease-like symptoms by improving their cognitive dysfunctions and motor disability. This study provides new insights into natural remedies to promote membrane well-being, expand our understanding of neural protections, which has implications for various neurodegenerative diseases, not just Huntington. This also fosters a sense of hope for individuals and families affected by such conditions by raising awareness about neurodegenerative disease and advocating for research funding to support ongoing clinical research, we have the potentials to enhance the quality of life for countless individuals. Remember, a small number of patients doesn't mean it's not important or not serious. These unfortunate people deserve the best possible treatment and support. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.